Hey, Cameron here, continuing our coverage of the new Surface Pro 2017, which is here on the right. And I had some really great response to the throttling video that I did, showing uh, the different throttling characteristics, uh, seeing that the new Surface is able to hold about 16 sustained watts of power, where the old one could only hold about 12. So I just wanted to show some real-world examples of that in several games. First thing I want to mention is both these devices have been plugged in for hours and they are fully charged. Um, since thermally, thermal, well, it's not really thermal throttling, power limit throttling, which is affected by temperature, um, is such an issue. I've made sure the batteries are completely charged. So that way, you know, when you have a battery charging, it actually heats up and it can limit your performance because it, the, you know, it gets too hot. So they've both been charged. They're both in the exact same state. Uh, both are configured exactly the same. Uh, same resolutions. We're going to be using absolute highest resolution, highest game settings on this game. League of Legends is what we're doing first, and it's a popular game. It's a great game to play on Surface because you can run it at full resolution and still get over 60 frames per second for the most part. Um, but let's go ahead and see, compare the differences between the two. So I'm going to start up just the tutorial. And I've got fraps running. So pay attention to frame rates. Note how much quicker that one pops in. It helps when you have a 4 gigahertz processor versus a 3.2. So like I said, the settings are set to absolute highest, absolute highest resolution. And uh, to start off the bat, you can see that we're getting 90. We started with 90, where this one's only at 54. Well, only. That's still pretty dang good for, for what it is. The fan on the Surface Pro 4 is really starting to ramp up here. And as the heat rises we may see the frame limit quite a bit this one's chugging along um, you know it had that initial spike at 90 frames a second I'm pretty sure that's the 30 watt um, limit that uh, that it's able to bump up to this one has a 25 watt limit that I've never seen it go above that but this one the first 90 seconds or depending you know, I don't know the exact time frame but the first little bit it has 30 watts of power but boom, check that out. That is a interesting result. I'm actually very surprised here. The new Surface Pro is running <laughs> at almost double the frame rate um, of the previous version. These are both i7 devices, forgot to mention, uh, with the Iris graphics. And this is... This is interesting. So we'll kind of walk around. Uh, the point of this is to find the point where both of these really start to throttle, which the SP4 really already sounds like it may be struggling. It's already limited frames from 60 to 44, while the new Surface Pro I mean, these are the exact same graphic settings, and it is really doing marvelously in this game. There we go. It's bumping down a little bit now. So that seemed to really follow the curve that we saw in the first video where this could sustain clocks quite a bit longer before kind of throttling down. So my guess is at this point, this one is being limited to about 16 watts, where this is at about 12 watts, and that makes a big difference. So in sustained gaming, 55 versus 43. So this lets you basically game full screen, highest settings in League of Legends at close to that 60 frames per second that the monitor refresh rate is the cap anyways. So, um, Really some interesting results there. I think I think this is what we're kind of going to see in all these games is just the fact that there's more TDP, 16 watts versus 12. You're going to have about that ratio of performance increase in sustained loads. 
The other thing that's really cool is, let me, the Surface Pro 4 is just so much louder than the new Surface Pro. I'm going to show you. So hopefully you can hear that fan. That's the Surface Pro 4. Here's the 2017. Which I don't know if, if you can hear anything. Let me take the Surface Pro 4 away. I literally cannot hear that thing over the Surface Pro 4 fan. So that is awesome. So let's go ahead and move on to a different game. Okay, so here we are in Portal. And just barely loaded up the game. I have this also set at native resolution. And um, just high to medium set, medium high settings here. But you can already see the last gen Service Pro 4, 45 frames a second, where this one's doing 85. So double the performance, but you're going to see power limit throttling kick in. It's going to limit this down to anywhere from probably 25 initially and then drop it down to 16 where this is probably stuck at 12 watts right there. But you can see already that uh, that's a good result. And I'll try to keep it pretty fair. So now they're both probably hit their max throttle. And that difference makes this run 48 and this run 70. So pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're going to do Hitman Absolution 1920 by 1080. Um, no V-Sync enabled. And we're going to run the benchmark. And this set does 22, 50, 20, 10, 34, 22. So way better on this side. Despite the, t the hardware itself being very similar in capabilities, the fact that it pulls back the performance because of the heat makes the new Surface Pro quite a bit better in the graphics department for sustained usage.
commences in 30 seconds. Keep the skies clear for me. So there you go. Okay, so there we have it. Two Surface devices, one last gen, one newest gen, and I'm actually very pleased with the performance that we've seen today in these different games. We saw that the fact that it has a larger TDP envelope means that the new Surface Pro can push lots more um, performance uh, because that overhead translates into higher clock speeds. and even in sustained gaming, it makes a big difference. It sometimes is the difference between running at 60 frames a second and a nice experience uh, versus, you know, 40-ish. And in some games, that you know, Overwatch at 720p is not something that you necessarily want to play on the Surface Pro 4, you know, kind of hanging out there around 30 frames a second. But on the new Surface Pro, you know, 45, 50 frames a second, it was pretty smooth. So there you have it. The new Surface Pro, even though it is an incremental, pretty small bump in processor technology, the thermal improvements on the machine, and the uh, smaller process node of the KB Lake processor really makes for a great experience. I'm pretty impressed. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching these videos. We'll keep them coming. And please subscribe if you haven't. Use our Amazon link if you're looking to pick up a new Surface Pro and help out the channel. We really appreciate it. Thanks.